Hi everybody, welcome to Travelling with Russell, welcome to a new video and welcome to Vnukovo Airport here in Moscow. Now I thought I'd take you for a trip from here at the airport, Vnukovo Airport, on the metro. Finally, after so many years, the metro in Moscow has arrived at the airport. This is the first airport in Russia with a metro connected from the airport back into the city. So. I'm going to take you for a long. Now there is a map here of the whole airport. Of course, we're not flying out anywhere today, but we're going to go from the arrivals right here in this section. And we're going to literally just go down to the metro right here, line 8A. So it's not too far from here, but I thought it would be appropriate to be one of the first people in Russia to make a video about how to get from Vnukovo Airport to the center of Moscow. Are you ready? Let's go. Before we leave the airport, I do have one question. Now we can see behind me the very big flight departure board. Do you have anywhere that you'd like to go in Russia? Let me know in the comments. There is a lot of flights departing 24 hours a day. And have a look at the beautiful picture of Moscow in the background. We're not gonna be too far from there when we get on the Moscow Metro and head into the city center. But let me know in the comments, where in Russia would you like to visit if you are here at the airport right now? Vnukovo Airport here in Moscow is one of four airports that you could arrive and depart from in Moscow. Uh, Vnukovo Airport specifically handles a lot more of the domestic flights internally in Russia. And there is also international flights from Vnukovo as well, going to as far as the Caribbean. You can fly from here to Cuba. A lot of the Turkish Airlines flights through Istanbul to Europe leave from here as well. So it's very well connected. And now that you can catch the metro to and from here, even easier if you're arriving and want to get into the city and literally come out at a station that's convenient for you. This video is actually a follow-up video to another one that I made very recently that was very popular. And it seems like a lot of people and yourself enjoy metro trains and transport videos. So I thought I'd do this video in reverse from the airport to the city. The previous video was coming from Moscow to the airport. So if you wanna see that video, I'll put a link for you to watch right away after this. And I really hope you enjoy this trip with me from the airport to the center of Moscow. Okay, so I'm actually here on the arrivals level. It's one level down from where we started the video. And I thought I'd just talk about a couple of different ways for you to get from the airport right here to the center of Moscow. Now, as you can see right behind me, this is the gates where you've come through the arrivals. And then now you're here in the airport proper. Now, most people will naturally walk outside right here and they'll actually go out to taxis or the parking lot. Now you can literally walk out and find taxi drivers who uh, don't have a booking system and you can get a price from them and get on a taxi. Or if you've got an app on your phone like uh, Yandex, uh, you can book a taxi for them to pick you up at the different uh, pillars outside. And naturally a lot of people walk this way. Now what I want to show you is the options other than walking out to take a taxi uh, also, you can have friends pick you up right here as well. There's a pick up and drop off area. It is a little bit hectic when you first come outside. You can see the crowds build up very easily. But if we walk around this way, there is two options that you can take from here. There's either the Aero Express train, which has been here for a lot of years. That goes from Vnukovo Airport to Kiev Railway Station. And that's 500 rubles. Or you can take the Metro, which is as cheap as 50 rubles. Of course, we're gonna take the metro today. So we're gonna head on downstairs and get on the train. I thought I'd walk outside just for a second to show you here where most people have walked out of the glass doors just before and come to meet uh, taxis, particularly pre-booked taxis where you can book them on your phone, on an app, and then it pays to your credit card or whatever payment you've got set up. You can actually see the entrance to the metro off in the distance right behind. Now, you're not meant to cross the road right there, but a lot of people do. Of course, this is only a couple of days after the metro opened. 
so a lot of people still aren't exactly sure what to do. This is the big parking station where people do park their car long term. It's not very popular that people do that in Russia, it's particularly here in Moscow, because it's so well connected with public transport. And then when you book a taxi, you put the different pillar numbers on your phone as the pickup points, so A11, and then further down, A13, and so on. A good tip if you are booking a taxi from the airport to somewhere where you live, pick the furthest pillar away from where you've walked out, and then there's a lot less people milling around here, so when multiple cars pull up, it's not as crowded. So we can see the metro entrance literally across the street. Now, the one thing you really shouldn't do is try to cross the street right here, but people still do. And no matter how much you tell people in Russia not to cross the main road, people love to do it. You can see all the taxis and pick up and drop offs right here and everybody waiting. And again, naturally everybody waits right at the first exit when they come through arrivals. If you are watching this video of a how to get to Moscow video from here at Vanukova Airport, one of the things I really don't suggest is to get one of the taxis where someone walks up to you quoting a price because they're generally going to quote you double the price of what it should be to get to Moscow or even to just a nearby other metro station or a bus station if you're going to travel onwards. So do really avoid that. Take public transport or use the app on your phone and book a taxi once you arrive. It's much easier and much cheaper. If you are arriving in Vanukova Airport for the first time and perhaps you want to get a SIM card for your phone, they actually have all of the different phone providers here in Russia. Tele2, MTS, Megaphone. So you can walk in. These are exactly the stores that you'd see in Moscow at the shopping centers. And you can get yourself a SIM card. You can even buy a new phone right here at the airport. How nice is that? This is actually my phone provider right here. So I could walk in get myself a SIM card for my phone, and you can be connected within minutes. One of the interesting things that I noticed about the signage here at the airport is it's in Russian, English, and Chinese. How interesting that it's in Chinese, a third language on the signs. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is there's no mention of the Moscow Metro on the sign and the arrow in the direction we need to go. We have to go one level down under the underpass to get to the metro. And there's no sign here once you arrive right out of the arrivals door here at the airport. So I know where to go, but if you've arrived for the first time, they could have put a better sign there. What do you think? To get down to the metro, we need to take these lower escalators right here. And they do actually have a metro sign right here, but it's just a white sticker. They've not even got the color of the line or well, the famous red letter M on the sign. We'll head downstairs and get a little bit closer to the train. I'm filming this during the middle of the day today, so the airport won't feel as busy as I'm walking around. Depending on when you arrive, early morning, late at night, there's different rush hours at this airport. So, but for now, it's all very quiet down here. When you come down the escalators as you walk towards the metro station, there is a statue here of Andrei Tupolev. This is one of the founders, or the founder, of the Tupolev aircraft. And they also had the design center here at the airport. And it's a big factor in the design of Vanukova Airport Station. When we get downstairs, you'll see a lot of uh, references to the great man right here. And you can even see one of the aeroplanes on his bust. And he was alive from 1888 till 1972. So he passed away even before I was born. There is more signage as we walk a little bit closer to the station. But again, they don't have any metro signage. Perhaps they're going to put them up a little bit later. I'm a little bit surprised about that. If you are arriving off the metro to the airport, the opposite side of the glass right here is where you'd come through the doors. And then they've actually got a checkpoint to go through the security to come into the uh, departures area of the airport downstairs. And of course I'm here during the day so it's a little bit quieter but much easier than having to go up to the street level and go through security. 
you can literally do it straight off the trains. And we just have one more gate to go through and we'll then be very close to the entrance of the metro. Again, the signs are not particularly noticeable. I'm not gonna knock anything about this because the fact that there's a metro arriving to an airport in Russia is amazing. The engineering feat of it is just next level, but they could have put some signs up as soon as it opened. It seems to be a thing in Russia. They'll build something and then do the last part of it afterwards, which always bothers me, but not everything can be perfect, right? Here on the left hand side is the ticket booths for the Aero Express. Now if you do want to use the Aero Express, it's 500 rubles to get from here to Kiev railway station. Now of course this was here for a long time, but 500 rubles and it only leaves once per hour. Now that may seem convenient to most people, but with the metro being open now, that's not particularly convenient anymore. We just have to walk a little bit further past the Aero Express. I've actually come today with my wife and I convinced her to come for a walk with me and make a video. She doesn't really like being on the videos or talking and answering questions, but this is Zhenya. <laughs> and all we need to do is walk a little bit further down and the metro station is just ahead of us. You can actually slowly see as we pass from the Aero Express to the new underpass to the metro, you can see how it becomes a little bit newer. And this has only been open for three days as I'm filming this right now. There's a very nice sign where you go in and out of the metro, which has all the directions to either go to the airport if you walk to the right and if you want to go to the public buses or to the small micro district of Vanukova, you'd go out to the left, just down this tunnel right here, and you'll come up right at the street level. And we haven't really traveled all that far from where we started the video right here from the arrivals and departures. We've come under the underpass. That's the Aero Express. And this is the entrance to the Metro 8A. That's the one we're going to catch. I just want to point out the way that you can buy a ticket. There is actually the self-checkout ticket booths. Now, if you're just doing one ticket and you want to pay cash or card, it's 62 rubles. Now, I actually have the Troika card and it's 50 rubles with the Troika card. That's the one where you can put extra money on and top it up. There is quite a few other options for tickets. If you want to get uh, one ticket, two tickets, or an all-day ticket, or even a yearly ticket. So there's a lot of ways you can ride the metro. And here we are at Airport Vanukova Metro Station. And what's interesting about the wording is they call it Airport Vanukova. Now the way I'd actually say it is Vanukova Airport. But as you can see on the sign, that's the name of the station where we're gonna go through right now. On the opposite side, there's some vending machines I did actually point this out on my other video, if you haven't seen it. There is actually a Coca-Cola vending machine here. And on the bottom right, there is actually Coca-Cola available. Now again, this station has been open for three or four days. And how is a Coca-Cola vending machine in Russia? And the other cool thing they've got right here is a pancake vending machine. And it actually makes them for you right there in that little glass window. Walking through the first part of the airport station, there's a security checkpoint if you've got bags or luggage. And otherwise, there's a few different maps right here. My wife's having a look at where else we can explore today. There's a digital version here, which is very helpful if you aren't too sure about where to go. There is more payment booths for tickets. There's an ATM machine. And then there's also a regular ticket office where you can speak to the lady and buy tickets right there, which is super nice. And most of them all speak English as well. So if you are arriving from a non-Russian city, and then we're gonna go right through the gates here. If you are arriving at the station for the first time and you don't have a Troika card like I'm using, you can come to the ticket office and buy a one-time ticket. 
which is 62 rubles. Of course, I've got the Troika, so I can just replenish money on this. And then it's as simple as coming over to the gate. You can tap your card and walk on through. And from here, we just go down to the platform to get on the train. It looks like a few people have found their way to the metro and they're heading on down to get on a train themselves. More than likely they've arrived from another city or another country and they're gonna get on the metro just like we are. And, <laughs> and we're gonna head down the escalators. Uh, there is actually an elevator just off in the distance up here. Uh, most people use the escalators even if they've got luggage but there is the elevator if you need to. And you can see the door where it comes out just there if you want to use it. And here we are on the platform of Airport Vanukova Station. How exciting is this? One thing I do want to point out, and the first time that I came here, I was a little bit confused myself. And when you come down to the platform, they have the sign here with the different stations along the line and being that this is the last station there is no end stop on either side so you can literally get on either station either side of the station and it'll go back towards the city so whichever train is pulled up at the platform you can get on and it will head off in the city bound direction so this one is the next one that's going to leave in a few minutes and then we already know the next one that can leave. It will be four minutes later. So there's not a very big gap between the stations and between the arriving trains that come to the last station here at Vanukova Airport. You can see lots of people getting off this train and then literally walk up the escalators and head to the airport. One of the really nice features on the walls of the station is this map of the world. There's actually two of them, one half of the world on this side, one behind me. And then all of the schematics of the Tupolev aeroplanes are on here at the same time as well. This is really neat to see all of these aeroplanes. Of course, we can see the train at the platform here. And then the other side of the map and all of the different models that were over the years created by the Tupolev father and son team. As the train just leaves, that's the one that we just saw in the previous shot. And then the next one is only two minutes away. So it's not so long to wait between trains, even at the last station. There's someone else here admiring the Metro, which is pretty neat. And the other thing that's pretty cool here at the station is these two very big murals. It's actually a digital photo that's been put onto metal panels. The metal panels are meant to mimic the panels on the aeroplanes. And this is the Tupolev father and son on these two pictures. Now, in my other video, I said that they were uh, brothers. So I'm sorry if I misexplained it. But again, I'm not sure which one is which. One is father, one is son. Maybe you can point that out for me. I am getting better though. And just arriving ahead of me here is the next train. And it's actually slowing down because it knows it's coming to the last stop. But literally every three to five minutes, the trains are running. Now, depending on the peak times, they can run as short as every 90 seconds. How cool is this? And it is a little bit hard to see, but off in the distance, the tunnel has no continuation. And uh, most stations where the ending uh, of the Metro finishes, there's actually an opportunity for the train to keep going, turn around and come back on the opposite side. But on Vanukova Airport, there are dead ends. And this is the next train about to leave. Airport Vanukova. That's the sign on the side of the walls of the station. And all of these triangles. And I was told from comments on my previous video 
that these are also a big feature inside the airport itself. And they've used metal panels to also uh, create an overlap between the Tupolev design center that was here at the airport. And for me, they look like the tail wings of the aeroplanes. But again, if they've tried to match it up to Vnukovo Airport, it makes perfect sense. All of these triangles all over the platform. This is pretty neat to see this. I hope everyone's enjoying it as much as I am. Before the train leaves the platform, I just thought I'd just talk about how... So as the metro train starts to leave the platform and we head off towards the city, I just thought I'd talk about how quick it was to get from the arrivals of the airport down to the platform here. It literally took us about five minutes and that's even not knowing the way. We can of course follow the arrows and the signs, but five minutes from stepping out of the arrivals of the airport to get on the metro. And you can see at the moment, I'm the only one in the carriage. There is a few people in the other carriages, but how cool is this to be in our own carriage on the Moscow Metro here in Russia? We're gonna go to the next station and check it out very soon. Now it might be a little bit difficult to see out on either side, but we're now going over the bridge section of the metro from the airport to the first next station. And this is 450 meters as we go right over the river. It's really hard to see, but this is one of only 12 bridges that the Moscow Metro has. And it's pretty cool, although we can't see very well outside. It's pretty much trees and forest on either side. Now we go back into the tunnel and we'll get to the first next station. Oh, here we are. We're arriving now. This is Pictina Station. Let's go check this out. Welcome to Pictina Station. This is also the other new station on the yellow 8A line. And this is the newest station in Moscow along with Manukova as the train goes by. Wow, how cool. And this is a pretty neat station for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is these big circular lights. And these are meant to look like the turbines on an aeroplane. And they go the whole length of the platform. The other really neat thing about this station is on one side, they've got all these schematics of different aeroplanes. And on the other, there's actually glass windows looking out to the area that surrounds the metro station. This is also quite rare on the Moscow Metro to have viewing windows. Most of the metro is underground and in tunnels. So this view out the window is pretty neat to see the forest. Of course, they're still doing a lot of the gardening around it. But how neat is this? These big glass windows. As the next train arrives, now, it's not quite as loud as it can be in some of the other stations. This will then head off to the airport not too long from now. And I don't imagine too many people get on and off at this station just yet because it's so new, but it's still arriving and departing from here. There's the second to last stop. Oh, there's a few people coming out. I wasn't expecting that many. And I think a lot of people that live in the district nearby this station are super happy that they've got a metro station near their house now. As the next train leaves, looks like some other people have got the same idea I have and came to the station to take some photos and videos and have a look at the newest metro station in Moscow. On the walls of the platform, it's really cool to see all of these different Tupolov aeroplanes and all the different models through the different uh, years. And for me, this looks like the Concorde. What do you think? The Russian Concorde. How neat is that? 
If anybody's perhaps flown on some of these, let me know in the comments. Maybe it's bringing back a bit of nostalgia for you as we're here at Picton Station. As the next train pulls up, it's very difficult to film in the metro because of how frequent the trains run. And of course, everybody wants that you know, clean, quiet shot, but it's nearly impossible to do with trains coming and going every few minutes. There's a very interesting plaque on the wall here at the station which talks about the different Tupolev aeroplanes over the years and a little bit about the history of the design center that was in this region and the significance of Vnukovo Airport in the whole scheme of Russian aviation. One more train leaving the station. I never get tired of that loud noise. Sometimes, of course, <laughs> you don't want to hear it, but on days like today, when you've come to look at the Metro and really kind of spend a bit more time in the stations, it's so easy for you to just literally come down to the platform, get on the train and leave and not notice any of the features of the station that you're in or the significance of it in terms of the Moscow Metro as a whole. One of the coolest features of Picteno Station by a long way are these escalators leading up to the street level and this very cool arched paneling and this scale model of a Tupolev aircraft and this is a very neat. I'm going to go and have a look a little bit closer and also the Paneling on the side here as well resembles the edges of the aeroplane. This is very cool. Yeah, I hope it comes out just as good on the video as it does looking at it here without the camera. Because how many train stations in the world have a scale model of an aeroplane right in the ceiling? One more look at the aeroplane on the ceiling here. And I wonder how many people who catch the, uh, the train from here to and from where they live, they look up at that aeroplane each time. I think it's just super interesting. Off in the distance at the other end over here is the elevator to go down to the platform. So if you've got bags or prams, you can use the elevator right there to go down. It's a cool aeroplane. I know we get tired of seeing this sort of thing and making videos about the metro. It's perhaps a little bit awkward to see through the windows from here, but there is a micro district or a small town that was previously here before the metro opened. And what a bonus if you live here and the metro got built within walking distance of your house. This is the uh, station where you'd come in from the street level. Again, the gates to pass through. And all of this is new infrastructure that only opened a few days ago. What a lucky thing if you live nearby. As you go down back to the platform, this ceiling here has this warped dimension on your eyes. And it has some reference to the airplanes. It's really cool when you look at it and stare at it for a few minutes as you head downstairs as the next train comes to the platform and we're going to jump on and continue our journey just that little bit further as I wait to get on the next train arriving you can see here the signage now for the yellow line so of course one station more to the airport and all the stations then going back towards the city and the last stop, Delavoit Center, is the big city center of Moscow with all the skyscrapers. One more train! Oh, cool. I hope everybody watching appreciates seeing lots of metro trains come and go on the platform. Now, yeah, the one that we want to catch in the reverse direction is only a minute or so away so we'll wait patiently for that 
Again, it's interesting how many people are getting off at this station. More than likely everybody lives in that area right at the top of the escalators. Perhaps they take a bus to another nearby town as well. So I decided to get out of the metro right here at Park Pobede metro station. This is pretty cool for a couple of reasons. Now, firstly, the actual platform is pretty neat. And these arches and the curved ceiling as the trains come quite a lot more frequently here. But the other thing that's really unique about this station is on the platform level where I am now, two different trains come and go on one side and the other. So basically the yellow line that I got off is on this side and the blue line is on this side. Now, very typically at most metro stations, you have to go up some stairs or an escalator to dissect to another line. But this is rather unique because everyone's gonna step off the train right here, hopefully behind me now. And they're gonna walk across to the other platform to get on the blue line. And this is something you don't see at most metro stations, if not all of them in Moscow. And it's a little bit confusing the first time you come here, but it's kind of interesting. And if two trains are at the platform at the same time, you'll see people running across. Now, we wanna actually go up to the street level. I wanna show you one more feature of this station. The other reason that this station is rather unique is it has one of the longest escalators in the world in a metro station. And from the bottom to the top, it's just on three minutes. Now, Jen went ahead of me there. Maybe you can see her off in the distance. But three minutes. Imagine living here. Six minutes of your day is taken up riding an escalator. Would you be able to deal with that if you lived nearby? Maybe you can see the pink sweatshirt Jenya is wearing right off in the distance. This is during the day again, so it's not as busy at this station. Come two hours from now and when everybody finishes work, this station is a lot busier than what it is now. I'm not gonna ride the whole three minutes, but it's a pretty neat station to come into. There is actually one longer than this on the Moscow Metro, and it's only a few meters longer than this. But if you wanna see that video, you'll have to click the link to go over to that separate video. I made a standalone video about it. If anyone wants me to make a video at this station as a new video, please let me know. I can come back and make a six minute video, three minutes each way. I'm sure there's escalator fans out there. Let's get to the top and check out outside a little bit. One other interesting and funny thing about Park Pobede station is I think it's got the shortest escalator in the metro stations throughout Moscow. There's this little miniature set of them right here. And is the shortest, is this the shortest metro station escalator? Somebody must know. We're gonna walk out to the street level from here and take a look at a pretty neat statue right outside the station. I just come out of the metro station here at Park Pobede. Uh, it's right in the middle of the main road here. You can see the very famous M on the sign. Now there is actually exits on either side of this main road. But the main reason I wanted to come out is to show you a pretty interesting uh, statue right behind me. The Park Pobede Museum is just off in the distance over here. It's a really amazing place to come and spend a few hours and have a walk in the park, also the museum. There's some pretty interesting historical facts about Moscow also in this middle part of the road. And then right here in the center of this main street is the Triumphal Arch. Now the one that I know in France is the Arc de Triomphe. Now <laughs> I'm not sure how it's going to translate what I've explained but this is the Triumph Arch of Moscow. Now, it's pretty neat right here in the main center of Moscow. We are literally one more station from Moscow City to my left. And then one more station to the right would be Kiev Railway Station. 
So we've got off at a really nice spot and we're pretty close to the center of Moscow depending on where you want to go geographically. Okay everybody, I'm going to end the video right here at Park Pobede because this is the station that we decided to get off to come into Moscow center. Now you can actually see off in the background Moscow city. The skyscrapers are right here. You can see lots of apartments nearby and a couple more stations from where we got off here. You would be in the center of Moscow. Now depending on where you're going to be either staying in Moscow or where you might live, you would get off at a different station and you may connect to a different line from here. You can connect to the blue line and go to other parts of the center of Moscow. Now from Vanukova airport to where I'm standing, it was literally a 42 minute trip. Now if that was for me getting on, getting off the plane, coming through arrivals, going down the escalators, getting on the metro, and getting off at this stop. 42 minutes. Now if you were to take this by car, you're looking at somewhere about an hour and a half, depending on traffic. And if you have a car and you maybe want to park here, it's not so easy to find parking. But to come by metro from somewhere in the center of Moscow to go to an airport, amazing. The engineering that goes into building these is just mind-blowing. And of course I've lived here a few years, so I've seen the metro on a daily basis. But you know, to go to new stations, it's always interesting to see what they've built in the last few years and opened recently. So I really hope you like this video. And if you've got to the end, thank you so much. It's so nice of you to watch the last minute. And I'm gonna go for a walk around the park now for a little while. If you'd like to see a video from this park, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I think a thumbs up is more than deserving of the video. Also perhaps a thumbs up to the camera lady who came with me today to make the video. And we're gonna go and enjoy a nice walk now and the beautiful afternoon sunshine here in Moscow. Post a comment, let me know what you think. Have you perhaps been to Moscow before? Is it something you might do when you arrive? You'd use the metro and go into the city. Let me know in the comments. Also, maybe I've missed explained something or I've said the wrong information. Please correct me in the comments. That would be super nice. I put another video for you to watch after this one. It's going to pop up right away now. Also, if you want to follow me on Telegram, there's a link right here. You can click the link to Telegram. I'm very active there posting photos about my day-to-day -day trips like this. You can see some extra uh, daily activity that I'm doing beyond making YouTube videos. So Telegram right here, the next video right here, and I'm off another adventure. Bye everybody.